again welcome back to my channel this is marceline at cashewgreens.com in today's video is a follow-up video on snake plants <music> Alright guys, before we continue this video, if this is the first time you come across to my gardening channel or you haven't been in my channel but you haven't subscribed yet, please consider to subscribe below. Also don't forget, click the bell for notification icon so you can get notified of my next new video. If you want to see another video on snake plants, just click the video you see on both side corner of the screen at the end of this video. So let's get started and see you on my next page. We propagated our snake plants from cuttings from this mother plant and we used the three different methods. We used the pagpanix, pug the misting box and then the bowl with water. And I'm going to show that to you guys to update you the result so you can decide which of these propagators you would want to use in order for you to be successful in growing any type of plant. So let's see our result. All right, the first propagation, we put it in the bowl. This is the bowl. And when you see all those uh, people that they rotate their cuttings using this technique, and I have no idea how to get the root going because this is not rotting. I've been replacing the water every week. And as you can see, it's nothing. So this is the... I normally don't use this type of propagation because the water is stagnant, it is stable, there is no movement of the water that makes this uh, snake plants to root. So this propagation failed. So what I'm going to do in this one, I'm going to transfer this in the other propagation. So the next one. Alright, the second propagation that we use to propagate the snake plants is the misting box. Now, the misting box is the second best method of propagation that I use here in my garden. But let's check these snake plants and see. So as you can see, nothing is rotting. So this propagation failed. Now you can tell me what's going on in here so there is a little bit root nothing so i have to put this back and i will probably put it deeper this one has a root put it deeper the misting system is working and the media is not too wet that rot this cutting but it's not the rotting some of it is rooting a little bit but I had to redo this one guys so again this is my second best method of propagation you can tell me what what could go wrong during our propagation why some of these snake plants are not rooting so let's check the last propagation all right so the last propagation we use is the fog panic system so let's check this uh... okay so this one is awesome as you can see the root system is a mass of roots in here so the same time the same day we propagated the snake plant so this one is successful about this one here so as you can see look at this one guys so this is the propagation method that is my number one method of propagating any kind of plants and i'm going to uh, do another video guys on the introduction of fog panics and I will explain it to you the advantage of why using the fog panic system so as you can see here this one here this is look at that one guys that was that's awesome and this is these are my hydrangea look at this so this hydrangea is having a massive root system and I'm going to transfer this one in the soil so again, this is the one who I have success in propagation, propagating the snake plants. So from now on guys, I will use this one as my number one. The second method is the misting system. And if you see all those people who rotated their cuttings using the bowl, and I'm so proud of them because you know how they do that. And if they can explain it, you know, what they do maybe it would be helpful for us but i don't use that type of propagation because for me 
it is a waste of time just in my own opinion it's a waste of time for me and i need my i need an instant gratification if i want to propagate my plants i have to make sure that it is uh, rooted so i depend on my phagpanic so this is my my best propagation and i am going to do another uh, and build another cloning machine and i'm going to show you guys on how to build the cloning machine so the next machine that i will be building is a bigger one that will hold for 65 cuttings all right so we use the three methods of propagating our snake plants we use the bowl with water then the second is the misting box and then the fog panics now you see that our cuttings using the bowl are not rooting and I'm just wondering how are these people rooted the snake plants using that type of technique. I normally don't use this type of propagation using the bowl because the water is stagnant and it's not moving. So I have no success using that method. So I will disregard that type of propagation. The second one is the misting box. Now, I was just amazed why this, the misting box are not doing well. We only propagate we only rooted few cuttings maybe just a little bit of root in the cuttings the missing box is the second best method of propagation that i use here in my garden now you can tell me what did i do wrong during those uh, propagation it probably it is too shallow i put it too shallow or probably i i don't know so you can tell me and put that comment below on this video so the everybody can see it and then if you have an idea on how to propagate the snake plants using this type of propagation the misting box then share that ideas because that is my best type of propagation now let's check the last one so the last propagation is our hope so our winner is the fog panics we successfully rooted our cuttings using this method i would recommend you guys to use this kind of propagation especially if you propagate a lot of cuttings you are more successful uh, highly successful using this technique and i'm going to do another video on introduction to uh, fog panics so you can get an idea of why is it so important to use this kind of propagation and what are the advantages so what we are doing here, we are going to transfer our snake plant. So let's get started. When I transfer my newly rooted cuttings, I always use the mycorrhizae. This is a beneficial fungus that will help protect the root system against pathogen. I use the media 50-50, which is 50% cocoa fiber and 50% perlites. always uh, shake the container so there is no air pocket you can apply the micro rice directly to the root you just need one pinch or you can mix one teaspoon of the micro rice in a gallon of water Okay, so we transfer our newly rooted cuttings in the banded pot. So the last thing we need is to water the cutting. Water the cutting thoroughly. Okay, so we're going to put this uh, snake plant in here next to my hoya. Alright, so this is the video for today. If you have any question or concern, just write your comments below this video. And if you like the video, consider to subscribe. Also, don't forget to share to all your friends. So stay tuned. See you next week. Bye-bye.